Good morning, Eli Hodap. What's up? Uh, not much, my man. I want to play a little bit of uh, Shuffle Puck Cantina uh, for everyone out there. I think I said that word right. Did I say it right? I think so. It's by the dudes that made uh, 1112. Yeah, it's, and it's a Shuffle Puck game. And, and I think I think that's what makes it uh, special is the, their background. They've... Uh, you know, it's kind of like Poker Night in the Inventory. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but they, you know, it's basically poker with a uh, really cool atmosphere and kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, a room you're even playing in. You get to see characters and stuff, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like that, except, And you also know, win Team Fortress 2 loot. Yes, Mad Hats, which is always nice. Uh, this game is just about uh, shuffle pucking against, uh, if that's a word, against dudes in this bar. And uh, eventually you work your way all the way to the top of this bar. And uh, FYI, not that good at this video game. At wow, all. Eli sucks, huh? <laughs> it's a good name, I picked it early. <laughs> so, um, why, why is this shuffle puck and not air hockey? I would call this air hockey. Maybe it's air hockey, I don't know. I, I, I honestly do not know what you call this. Can't say so I played a lot. You're controlling this by moving your finger around. Yes, by moving my finger around freely and getting destroyed by the AI. Now, each enemy apparently has, like, a special move, so that little red... Yeah, right there? That's his, like, special, like, power move, I guess. Can you... Can you do a similar thing? No, I can't, but I can't unlock it. So as you play this game and you beat dudes, you earn a currency which you can in turn use to uh, unlock biography information. And with that, okay. when you unlock all their biography uh, stuff, you unlock their special move, I think. Okay. So that's kind of neat, bringing a little bit of the uh, adventure game aspect into this, you know, where you're actually learning about characters and stuff like that. Some story components... I mean, they're pretty loose, but, you know, I guess that's neat. Mm. By the way, if you haven't got the references here, this is totally Star Wars. So, this is this is basically the game with, with in-app purchase for all this junk? I mean, you can earn this stuff, right? Right, yeah, but it's heavily weighted towards in-app purchase. It's a free game, uh, initially. Uh, and, and actually, speaking of that, uh, because I suck so much, I went ahead and blew, uh, like, seven bucks in the game so I could buy this. Wow. <laughs> Money down the drain. Now I'm going to be top dog, and I'm going to win all the video games. You can also buy concept art, which is kind of weird. Never really seen uh, concept art as kind of like an in-game kind of purchase thing. No, well, just unlockable junk. Yeah. Something, but I, I don't know why you would unlock that, though. That seems strange. Right, because you need that money. To, there's an elevator on the side of the room, and uh, you need money to unlock floors so you can progress through the game. So, yeah. It's always like the games that have unlockable wallpaper. It's like, really? You're, this, is a, this is a JPEG. Right. Yeah, exactly. Robot, why are you beating me? I thought, I thought this ultra-wide paddle thing was going to make all the difference. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate that move. I hate this game. Wow. I like I like the production value though, to be honest. It's pretty cool. Like uh, it, is, it is really cool. You don't you don't get this uh, from uh, normal air hockey shuffle puck kind of games at all. Well, the 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 studio behind this has just insane art talent mm -hmm. in it. I mean that that was obvious in the one 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 two series, but uh, where those always fell short was in like the French to English translations. Right. So, I guess it's refreshing to see that they've made a game that doesn't rely heavily on text. Because <laughs> that was not their strong suit. Yeah, absolutely. It's cool, though. Yeah, it's neat. I, I wish I had uh, some of the powers unlocked, but, I, I mean, I'm just way too terrible at this to, to do anything substantial. There's also an endless mode. So, like, there's three different modes you can play against dudes. Like, I guess one's not really a mode, but you can bet. You can be like, I bet this many coins that I'll beat you, sir. And uh, you can play like that. And there's also an endless mode. And uh, there's missions. And uh, as you unlock these missions, you earn extra coins. And pretty easy stuff. Uh -huh. That's our spaceman from uh, that one video. Uh, space. Space <laughs> whatever. Spacewalk. Supreme. Yeah. I don't remember what it's called. It, it turns out when I took off to uh, float towards planet Earth to go back home, uh, I actually ended <laughs> up on this planet. Where you were. Yeah, this is what happened to me. It's quite unfortunate. Hopefully, uh, we have a FTL crossover at some point. <laughs> I can't wait. FTL, now that's a video game, I tell you. Dude, uh, I've been s spent so much time with that this weekend. I mean, it's it's embarrassing. Over a dozen hours. So good, though. It is outstanding. 
Yeah. It's a Steam game, if anyone's wondering. Yeah. PC, it, Mac, and Linux, if that's your cup of tea. Yeah. Because it's a Kickstarter project, so they're gonna they're gonna go for the Linux bomb at like three billion dollars. Well, I think I think Linux people on Kickstarter are like, oh my god, a game for my operating system? Please just take my money. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I don't blame them. I'm, I'm so there. tired of playing Tux Racer. <laughs> there we go. Extra wide, panning out finally, right here. How is this person playing if they're just dancing? Like I. I could see the robot maybe controlling his paddle based on some type of remote control thing. Telepathy? Uh. Hmm? It feels like he's paying no attention, though. I mean, every, everything I've, I've seen that relates to that, it seems like that requires intense concentration. <laughs> Different planet, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I was all on board, but this is breaking my immersion. Yeah, this is way too much, huh? Yeah. She has a weird little, like, knuckleball mechanic, which I think is pretty cool. I feel like this needs music or something. It has a little bit, has the cantina music. Oh, yeah. I guess it's just really quiet. Yeah. Here we go. And this guy is kind of different, so uh, he, just, he, he can also play him, but uh, he also runs a game in the uh, on the side there in a panel. It's basically like, um, God, there's a name for it. So you know the card game where you lay all the cards down, uh, face down, and then Three card you, Monty. you try to match them? Oh. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, I guess. Oh, God, he, plays, he, he has one of those games, and you earn like a token every half hour that you own the game or something like that. And uh, you can play that to earn bonus coins and whatnot. Mm. You know, a little free-to-play mechanic thrown in there. Yeah, how's he playing? That's a good question. Oh, hey, you're getting tweeted at. Yeah, I was kind of so griping about... Return to the... To the what, Brad? I was, to uh... the scene of the crime? <laughs> I was griping about uh, Dragon Age 3 this morning. Ugh. Dragon Age 2 kind of went off the deep end, my man, and I'm hoping uh, Dragon Age 3 is returned to form. Uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, it is an EA game, which makes me worry. Also being built in Frostbite 2, which is the Battlefield engine, Ugh. which uh, does not bode well for the the, uh, the creative direction of that well, RPG it, series. It bodes well if you're looking forward to watching a game that's running at 15 frames per second. Yes. Yes. Nice zinger, man. You got that in there. Bam! Modern Warfare player to the to the core. Yep. Unlocking some of his uh, biography here. Here's his uh, here's his little game, by the way. So you just uh, you just turn these over, and um, you get stuff sometimes. Ah. Oh. Uh, Those don't match. It's the same thing. Or did that match? I don't. I don't really know. <laughs> Don't think I got it. I don't think I got anything. Well, yeah, I I kind of blew my load right here, so uh, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Reds. Yeah, need more. There's a coin doubler, of course, but there's also this stuff as well. Um, stack of twenty twenty tokens is a uh, one dollar, which is not a good deal at all in the slightest. You gotta go large. You gotta go big. Go big or go home. That's yeah. what I always say. Let's beat more play games. I got this guy. I'm gonna bet on it. I'm gonna bet on it. Take this guy out. You don't have a bonus, just FYI. Hey, I don't need one. I don't need one now. I, I feel uh, I feel like I'm, I've been training, you know? Look at that. Oh, it's this asshole again. Yeah, what up, Marvin? How you doing? How you doing? Uh. Okay, alright. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> I'm so confused as to what is happening here. I'm playing. I'm playing a uh, shuffle puck, or board, or whatever it's called. Why, why are you playing this guy again, though? Because I, I, he beat me last time. Oh, okay. You gotta pay attention, Eli. Jesus. But you, you pay. You play additional robots, right? It's not like you're always playing the, these three dudes. Yeah. So as you go up in the bar, theoretically, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, you're playing against different dudes. Ah. Uh. But you have to unlock all his biography stuff, and this dude has a lot. So I mean, like, this is a uh, quite a time wasting kind of game. Very complex story. He's like the, um, who was the robot in, uh, what was that game? Night Seal Republic? Uh, H R Q. No, no, that's not right. 10? 
You know what I'm talking about? The, like, sultry, surly robot? Yeah, the guy who always called you a meatbag, right? Yeah. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Just play that game again. H- HK47? Oh, that sounds right. That sounds close. Someone's gonna yell us on the internet, Eli. I have a feeling. Well, this is a video game. Yeah, definitely. No, I and I suggest it's free. Uh, and if you're into it, check it out, man. I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, if you like Shuffle Puck. Yeah, and who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs>